Does the dog bother you? It's a natural reaction and one which I rejoice in thinking most intruders share. With Kachina at my side, I need no protection. Uh, please, uh, sign the book, would you? You have come for the tour, I imagine. I rhyme. You spoke to my secretary, no doubt. She's ailing today. Oh, well. You will have to do with me as your guide. As Dante said to Virgil, my voice is rather rusty with disuse. You will put up with that. How wonderful to have you as my guide. You know who I am? Why, of course. You're Minerva Cubit. I've seen your photographs, read your books. I'm Augustus Cubitt's editor and literary executor. He was my father. Sign. Not with an institution, Miss uh, Bolton. No baggage, no fancy initials after my name, I'm afraid. I'm just, well, me. Just me. Pardon me, I see. Most of our visitors come from America, from universities with the names of toothpaste or soap. The Americans like to put their name to their works. It's the equivalent of family tombs. We here like to leave a less material trace. Did you take the train? Yes, the directions were spot on. In Augustus Hubert's opinion, the train was the lesser evil to the motor car. But of course, the bicycle was his favorite means of transportation. I love cycling. It makes me feel free, the wind in my hair. Freedom is a more complicated plant than loose hair. I think we'll begin. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Oh, that was silly of me. This is so exciting. I've been wanting to visit here for ages. I'm afraid I'm jolly glad I'm the only one. We must get loads of people at the weekend. Yes. But some are invisible. To me, I mean. No, you're not invisible. I can see you. You have a definite presence. You seem a determined young woman, and determination well used is energy. Personally, I like determination. But some people are so shrouded in their unfulfilled longings for this or that. They seem more like a big round O. Hunger. Not a person. My father... The wise I... man empties himself of all desire. And then, like the bellows, he will become full. Ah, yes. Those weren't his words, do you know? No. I thought... Well, whose were they, then? I read it in... The World and Its Disorders, yes. My father had many sources. Bellows, the image of the bellows, how beautiful it is. It appears first in the Tao Te Ching. my father's room in the last ten years of his life. It's exactly as he left it. 
I like to keep the shutters closed so that nothing will fade. But he, of course, threw open the windows. He loved the garden. English climate is the best in the world, he was fond of declaring. It was a way of teasing, to, to know. But in a way, he believed it. As for me, I'm frileuse. I feel the cold. But he wasn't. He didn't understand it. He laughed at my cardigans. I was just thinking, I wonder where she got that supercardi. Where did you get it, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? I love it. It's an old friend, this one. It was made for me. I can't knit, but uh, I had a friend who enjoyed knitting. It helped her concentration. I wish I could. Gosh, you pay up to 100 smackers for something like that now. It's crafts, fashion, high fashion. Does she sell them anywhere? Your friend? She could make a bomb, I'm sure. <laughs> no. But she'd be pleased, someone thought so. She sometimes felt she was a bit of a castaway, I suppose. She liked to make her contribution. She never felt it was enough, though. <clears throat> She's dead now. She never did sell them. I'm sorry. But a castaway? How romantic. I'd like to be a castaway. Not have to accept, you know, and I've been dealt. Well, I'm sure you won't. Not if you can help it. To throw it in, start again. New person, new life, new family. I can't tell you how much I, or people of my age, envy and admire you and your father, and your friend who was it, who was so bold and broke with convention and braved the world. Dear, make it sound so melodramatic. How Helen would laugh. Helen, Helen Copping. Yes, my co-editor on the standard. Edition. Yes, I know. Gosh, I think she can knit as well. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I'm here. It'll sound absolutely fatuous, I know, but... It's as if he's just stepped out of the room. I can really feel his presence. I wish I could make the feeling last. Did he really keep the windows open on a day like today? He had inner resources far beyond what you and I can know. What does that mean? What was that like, I mean, to live with? Wasn't it hard for you all? Us all? There was only me and Helen. We looked after his work and the school when it was in its heyday. You've been there too? Soon. I want to go soon. You see, I'm trying to be a writer. I could learn there, I know, so much. A writer? What kind of writing? Never let inspiration pass by. Seize it by the scruff of the neck and hold on. You were saying about your father? Yes. It's easy to confuse freedom, the kind of fulfillment Augustus Cubitt sought, with license. In fact, restraint can prove the greater freedom, he thought. To experience love and to suffer passion are very different things. The one is, well, the summit of human aims. The other is disorder, folly, and can lead only to grief, one's own and others. Augustus Cupid understood love in the fullest sense. And that didn't mean permissiveness. That's right. Of course, the race has to go on. Although, sometimes one wonders. No, he was opposed to perversion, to lack of moderation, to compulsion. Desire is bondage. But he had an appetite for life. And he loved people who had one to match. Sometimes the two go together. 
I mean, appetite for life and love. Yes. And they were drawn to him. This house, you know, hummed with ideas, conversation, exchanges between like minds. I get absolutely green when I read about groups and biographies like the Bloomsberries and the Impressionists. They all loved each other and were friends, sparking away with ideas and support. They all slept around too and got away with it. My father was a profound influence on the Bloomsberries, as you call them. However, he was not of them. As for the Impressionists, well, they were born far too long ago. You must think I'm ancient. <laughs> Oh, no. You don't look ancient. You look wonderful. I'm just a pea brain, I'm afraid. The Impressionists weren't at all gay, were they? Not like the Bloomsburys. Thank goodness he isn't alive to hear the word used in this way. Happy liked so much the idea of le gay savoir, gay wisdom. He certainly did not consider homosexuality either gay or wise. He understood it. The struggle. Surely there's no harm. It's just street talk, slime. It's a perversion of meaning. A dreadful falsehood. Gay. Language guards our liberties. It has to be cared for, like anything else. So you think he would have been upset about the recent troubles? The demonstrations about the new law that's going through Parliament against gays? Ag against homosexuals? My dear young woman, my father, Augustus Cubitt, was interested in larger questions, not in a lot of fuss about gratification. He would not have been upset. It took a great deal to upset him. He was a sage. Sages have discovered peace beyond what you and I can know. But you must have achieved the same peace being near him all his life. Helping him with his life's work. I... Oh, God, now I've put my foot in it. Not at all. Uh, it's nothing to do with you. Uh, there's a research room here with more materials about Augustus Cubitt, if you'd like to have a look. That's the 70th birthday portrait. Fine, isn't it? Helen was a very good photographer. Yes. In fact, there wasn't a lot she couldn't do, it looked like. Helen was our very first American. She arrived to learn from Happy during the war. And very soon we became friends. More family snaps. What fun. That's the conference in Rapallo in 1956. That's me in the background. And Helen Shadow on the ground, taking the picture. That's all you ever can see of her. It really, it's ridiculous getting upset. It's surprising how, as the years go by, feelings do not fade. They can even get stronger. 
Will you bring her back somehow? She was young when she first arrived. Enthusiastic. And she adored Pappy so much. No, I never did achieve the peace. Augustus taught. I tr tried. I struggled to. He helped me. He listened. He understood. But she was my friend. And she died? Yes, Helen died. We never knew how, not really. She chose to cease. That's what, what, what Pappy said at the time. But I, I was inconsolable. <laughs> you're young, you can never understand. When you're young, you think that every experience is easy and another will come that will be even better. But it isn't so. Some are rare and never come again. When I see a young woman like you, I want you to cease to use your strength. I always suffered from something Pappy called wanting to have something of my own. He didn't approve. He is the absolute latest buzzword, you know, more than ever. Everyone wants to know what he would have said or done, thought about this and that. Buzzword? Oh, yes. The press. I never comment. I never give interviews. I understand nothing. Yes, you're being recognised at loss. You sound surprised. If you want to browse, I shall leave you. Don't go. Please. I'd far rather talk to you. <laughs> I can look at the album later. You're rare. Special. I'd like to write something about this. This meeting with you. May I? I was too possessive about Helen. Pappy was right. I had to learn. And then, well, it was too late. I want to be a writer more than anything. Yes, I did when I was your age. Creativity is such a precious thing. Yes, yes, do. Try. He'd never get half the attention he's getting if it wasn't for you. People never give the right people their due. Think of Tolstoy copying out Anna Karenina three times by hand. Tell me about Helen copying. 